Problem number 27. A spring and the block are in the arrangement as shown in the figure. When the block is pulled out to x equal to 4 cm, we must apply a force of magnitude 360 Newton to hold it there. Then we pull the block to x equal to 11 cm and then release it. How much work does the spring do on the block as the block moves from xi equal to 5 cm, x equal to 3 cm? And then the second, we have to keep xi as a constant, but x value changing to minus 3 cm. Again, for the third part, xi is the same value, but what is the value of x, which is minus 5 cm? For the fourth, xi is 5 cm, x value is minus 9 cm. That means here we have to read the question very carefully. It clearly tells the work is done by the spring. Why? Because you have to see, read this line very carefully. How much work? does the spring do on the block that means the spring is doing work on the block so work done work done by the spring ws which is equal to half k x i square minus x f square this is the rule and here the most important thing xi value is given x of value is given here so the only thing we have to find the most important thing as k which is a spring constant for finding the spring constant i have to use this x equal to 4 centimeter and the applied force is 360 newton so we know the hooke's law f which is equal to that means the spring force f which is equal to minus kx so let's we take the magnitude of this equation therefore f which is equal to kx Therefore, k equal to f divided by x. So here f, the applied force is 360 Newton. And then how much we pull the block? We just pull the block to 4 centimeter. That means the spring is extended to 4 centimeter. So the extension of the spring is 4 centimeter. So I have to convert it to uh, centimeter. So 4 multiplied by 10 power uh, minus 2 right so here we got the answer for the spring constant is 9000 newton per meter so this is our k value now once we find the k value it's very easy because we already know the rule for the first part what we have to do we have to take xi value is we have to go back to the question i have to keep xi is constant only i have to change this so xi I have to take plus 5 centimeter only I have to change x up so x i is 5 centimeter and x up value is 3 centimeter minus 3 centimeter and then minus 5 centimeter and minus 9 centimeter so I have to write the value of x i and x up so x high value is 5 centimeter and what is our x f which is 3 centimeter substitute the value in the formula w s which is equal to half k x i square minus x f square so let's we substitute the value half multiplied by k value is 9000 and x i square which is centimeter so i have to convert this one to a meter so which is 0 0.050 square minus of this one three centimeter which is our x up so i have to write minus 0 0.0 Three zero square. So here I got the answer as 7.2 joules. Now for the second part, xi we have to keep as constant. And what is our x of value? So they mentioned x, x is nothing but x of right. So they mentioned x of value is minus 3 centimeter. Again, you have to substitute the value, same method. So ws, which is equal to half k xi square minus x sub square. Likewise, you have to substitute the value half multiplied by 9000 multiplied by 0 0.050 square minus of minus 0 0.030 square. We got the same answer here as 7.2 joules. So WS, which is equal to 
7.2 joules and then for the third part xi same number which is 5 centimeter and what is our xf which is minus 9 centimeter again i have to do the same calculation only by changing the value of xi and xf so we know the rule ws which is equal to half k xi square minus xf square so 1 over 2 multiply by 9000 multiply by xi value 0 0.050 square minus of minus 0 0.090 square and here i got the answer as minus 25.2 minus 25.2 joules and then the last subdivision d part xi value which is 5 centimeter and then xf value is minus 5 centimeter so here i have to use the same rule ws which is equal to half k xi square minus xf square so 1 over 2 multiply by 9000 multiply by 0 0.050 square minus of minus 0 0.050 square we got the answer here as 0 joules so this is the answer for this question so only thing the first part we need the value of k once you find the value of k then you have to substitute the value here to get the answer for part A, part B, part C, and part D easily. So this is the answer for this question. That's it. Thank you.